Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can import different vehicles like this car here or this truck here with the same concept. This is an update video for Unreal Engine 5. If you want to watch the original one, link is in the description. So let's go. First of all we start up in Blender where we import our car model and our wheels. Be sure that the model and the wheels are separate parts. Then you place the wheels where they belong to. Be sure that the whole car is aligned with the red line here in Blender. Then we use the Unreal Engine vehicle base rigging. It says Unreal Engine 4 but it also works for Unreal Engine 5. That's a plugin for Blender, link is in the description. All we have to do is set up the vehicle base and the wheels by just clicking at them and then we say rig vehicle. We can use the same concept for the truck. Again, import the truck model import the wheels, place the wheels where they belong to, activate the vehicle base rigging, but this time we hit the I don't need preset wheels. In this way we can set up as many wheels as we want, be sure that you hit the bone names right because they represent the bone names later in the Unreal Engine. When you are finished with the setup we hit rig vehicle and then we just delete the wheels. We do the same thing for every vehicle, so also for the car. In this way we can customize the wheels later in the Unreal Engine. Then we go File, Export, FBX, we hit a Major and Mesh, the X is forward, the Z is up and then we hit Export FBX. Back in the Unreal Engine we just import the FBX, be sure that the Skeleton Mesh and the Import Mesh is checked, also you can import some materials, Maya already in the project and then we just hit Import. You can ignore the messages, so we get a Skeleton Mesh, a Physics Asset and the Skeleton itself. First of all we have to fix the physics asset. Let's open this up and we can delete the default one. Then we go to this options here and say show all bones. Go to the root. In my case I hit the multi-convex hole and add bodies. It's fine. Then we check all wheels, select them and hit the sphere and add bodies. So it should be look like this one here. We will use the vehicle template of the Unreal Engine because this will save us a lot of work. So let's go to the vehicle template, blueprints, sports car. We already have a torture curve, we have the wheels for front and wear and we have a blueprint actor here. So let's copy the wheels here to our car. Let's call them just car wheels wear and car wheels front. Let's open this up. So we can make some adjustments here. You have to play around with the value of the wheel radius and the width. The rest can be the same. So in my case it's 35 and 30. I already tested this before. We can compile and save this as well for the wear wheels. Same thing, be sure that's the same, like that. Great! Next we need an animation blueprint, so right click, animation, animation blueprint. We select our car skeleton, select an parent class, in this case the vehicle animation instance here. We say create, let's call this car underscore animation blueprint. We just need the wheel controller for real vehicles. Connect this here, it will automatically component to local here. Then we need the mesh reference pose, this one here, and connect it. Compile and save this. So we are done here as well. The last step is we open up our vehicle template again, go to our sports car and just copy and paste this. Let's call this car and open this up. You can delete some functions that you don't want to. In my case I don't need the brake lights. Let's delete this here and the reset car like this one. If you compile it you have to fix something of course. The brake lights as well up here. The rest can be the same. We have some functions for the movement, the throttle, the steering and the brake, the handbrake. We can look around with the camera here. So let's go to the viewport. Of course we have to replace the mesh here. So let's open up the details, select the mesh, go to our import folder here, 
to our car, we select the skeleton mesh that we imported and place it right here. Of course, we need to fix the cameras later, but for now, let's add up some wheels. In my case, these are static meshes from a content pack, link is in the description, so select this. We select the mesh and hit add static mesh. And then we just, of course, copy and paste this, that we have four wheels. And then we just select the parent socket here for the wear left, the rear right, the front left and the front right. As you can see, we just have to rotate them for 90 degrees. These here are minus 90 degrees, so select them, minus 90, looks fine. Let's select the mesh again and change the animation blueprint to our car animation blueprint here. Let's go to the vehicle movement component because we have to make adjustments here. This will be the front left, the front right, the rear left and the rear right. Of course, we can select the car wheels front that we created, as well as the car wheels rear here. The last step is we go to our mesh again, scroll down to the collision here, go to the collision presets and hit custom. Be sure that world dynamic is ignored. That's because of the custom wheels here. Compile and save this. Let's go to the project settings, maps and modes. We have the vehicle game mode here, the default pawn class, and let's set it to the car. Great, let's see if this works. We hit play. There's our car. We can control it. We can drive around with it. Everything works like expected. Let's do the same thing for our truck. The only different thing for our truck is the amount of the wheels, of course, and we set it up like we set it up in Blender. Let's go to the project settings again, maps and modes, select our truck and hit play. As you can see, works with the same concept. Great. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.